Hey YouTubers, Menno here and today I'm going to show you how to uh, where you can download, how to install and how to set up VirtualBox to use with virtual machines. So the first thing you want to do is go to virtualbox.org and on the left side click on downloads. Now depending on if you're running Windows, OS X or Linux or Solaris you might have to download a different version but if you have a Windows version which I have because I'm running Windows 7 here just download this one and it will start downloading let's see because I thought I already downloaded it oh yeah here we go just run the installation Yep, there we go. Now, because I've already had VirtualBox installed, it says repair for me. But if you haven't already, it should say install. Just close this off. Also, if you're running a solid state drive and a hard drive, you might want to install this on your. Um, on your solid state drive and then run the actual virtual machines from your hard drive or if you prefer to install VirtualBox on your hard drive then um, the virtual machines automatically uh, by default will be installed onto the same drive that you installed VirtualBox onto so after doing this, I have to restart my computer. So I'll cut the video here and I'll be back in a second. And I'm back again. So after you're done installing VirtualBox, you can create a new virtual machine by clicking on New. And you can give this any name you want. Oops. There we go. Uh, depending on the operating system, we want to install uh, by type. If you want to install Windows, uh, Linux, or another operating system, for this one I'm going to install Windows 8, 32 bit. So by version, you want to click uh, there and select Windows 8. Please note that if you're running, uh, want to run a 32 bit version, just it's just called Windows 8. Whoops, something happened there. It's just called Windows 8, and if you want to install a 64-bit bit version, you want to click on this one. So for this version, I'm going to click on 32. Now I know for a fact that this will run smoothly on about 2 gigs. Kind of depends on the minimal system requirements for the operating system. You might want to look that up on their official website create a virtual hard drive now let's do that and this one is just fine now fixed size if you were going to fix make a fixed size virtual hard drive it will take a lot longer and dynamically allocate it is my preference anyway because you don't have to wait for a hard drive to uh, get created so you can make the hard drive bigger here if you want I'll just do 30 gigs for this one and then make sure you have the virtual machine selected and click on settings now in general uh, I usually go and do this by the advanced tab shared clipboard uh, board, bidirectional drag and drop bidirectional so you can copy and paste uh, text from like your host computer your host machine to your virtual machine and vice versa you can also set it to host to guest or guest to host, but um, for for normal uses, bidirectional is usually uh, just fine. Moving on to system, I usually take this floppy off and let it boot off the hard drive, CD-ROM, you know, if you want, but doesn't have to. Uh, enable I/O IP. APIC. This might or might not be checked on. Please note that if you're uh, choosing more than one core processor, 
this one has to be checked on. It will also give you a notification like this. So you have to turn that on. Uh, and this is all just fine. Just go to display settings. I usually throw this at the highest setting. This is all fine. Now for storage, you want to click here on empty. And then on the little CD on the right. If you have an original CD and you popped it into your drive, you can select it right here in the one of the host drives. If you want to run it off an ISO file, oh, we we'll just go back. Here, choose a virtual CD DVD disk file. So for this one, I've got Windows 8 English 32 bit selected. Moving on to network. Here, where it says NAT, you can set it to bridge adapter. This will uh, use the network uh, network uh, card on your host computer for your virtual machine. If you do not want this, you can also just check it off right here. Uh, let's go back to shared folders. You can make a shared folder, so you your you can put files into a folder on your uh, host computer, and you'll be able to access that via your virtual machine. If you wanted to use this, just click on shared folders on the left, and then click on the folder with the plus sign in the right. By folder path drop down box, I click on other, and select your shared folder. Click OK, and uh, select auto mount, so it automatically mounts to that virtual machine. Just click on OK, OK, and then just click on start, and you can start installing your virtual machine. Just like this. <laughs> and that's it for this tutorial. So, like if you like this video. Uh, also, if you have any questions, comments, or uh, suggestions for other f uh, videos, just post a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you want to uh, get notified by new videos, and or you just like the sound of my voice, or looking at this logo, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. So what I forgot to mention in the previously in the video, if you install VirtualBox onto your SSD, your solid state drive, and you want your virtual machines to be running off your hard drive instead, just click on File and Preferences. Now here in the General tab, it should uh, say Default Machine Folder. Now you can change this, which I've done as well. Uh, I've run, I'm running VirtualBox on the solid state drive, and my D drive is my hard drive and this is where it stores all my virtual machines so that's it just change this drop down box other just browse for your folder or make a new folder and here just hit OK and that's it okay bye